as you start installing more extensions, your sidebar can become pretty cluttered. So let's learn how we can actually customize this sidebar. Each one of these is actually a view in and of its own. So if we click on extensions, it opens up this view that we can see what the extensions are that we want to install. Or if we open up the search, we also get the options for search. Now we also have the ability to open up a sidebar on the opposite side of the editor. If we go up here to the upper right, we can click on this toggle secondary sidebar. And from here, you can drag any view from the left sidebar to the right sidebar. So I could take the extensions and drag it over here, drop it, and now I have the extensions always on this second sidebar. You'll notice once this extensions view is on the right hand side here, we can't actually get it back unless we do something special. If we click on this X button, it doesn't return that view back to this left hand sidebar and we'd have to open up the secondary sidebar to view it again. Now to move it back over to the original sidebar, we can grab this icon and drag it over to our left hand sidebar to then add it back to the view on the left. We could also just right click that icon and then click on reset location to reset it back to the original location on the left. Now that's one thing that you can use to declutter the left hand sidebar. But what you also can do is you can right click on this sidebar and then select which things you want to actually have in view on the left hand side. So we can decide to just remove search and now we don't have that search symbol anymore and we can only access it by actually hitting the control shift F to open up the search menu. If we exit this search menu by going back to the Explorer, that search then disappears. Now we can always add it back by again, right clicking on this left hand sidebar and clicking on search. Another way we can customize this is we don't actually have to have it on the left hand side like it's viewed right now. We can actually put it as a toolbar. If we right click and go to activity bar position and then click on top, you'll see that it now transitions from that left hand sidebar to this bar up here at the top. And we can see all the additional views that we have to switch to. Now to go back or to change it to a different position, we can always just right click, go to activity bar position, and then click on one of the other options here. Bottom will put it at the bottom and hidden will completely remove it. Now you might be like, well, how do I get it back? And to do that, you go up to view, then go to appearance and then go to activity bar position and then you can change it to what you want it to be. I'll click on default. What you also might notice is that you have these badge notifications that tell you certain things. So this one is telling me that I have 12 uncommitted changes in my source control. Now I can remove that badge by right clicking and clicking on hide badge. Now I don't see that it says that I have 12 pending changes. I have to actually hover over the icon to see that I have those changes. We can also move this entire panel over to the other side of the screen. You'll see now that I've switched my secondary and primary sidebars so that that extensions view is on the left hand side and the rest of my views are on the right. We can switch back by just doing the same thing. And that is how you customize your sidebar inside of VS Code.